Hey guys, so I've watched Akun Batra's Gehraiya. It drops on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, it directly comes on an OTT platform, so you don't have to watch this in the cinemas. Um, how to enjoy this movie? What's the plot about? What's my take? I'll tell you everything in this video. First things first, everybody just wants to know one thing. Kaisi hai picture? So I'll tell you, I really enjoyed the movie. Mujhe bahut achhi lagi. Shakun Batra is very good with relationships, conflicts, um, you know, the seriousness of uh, conversation and dialogues. So I really enjoyed all that. What's my take and how you should enjoy this movie in your house? I will tell you. Alicia, that's Deepika Padukone, is in a relationship with Darius' character. Um, they are a Mumbai couple. They both are working and struggling and trying to make it. Uh, Deepika's character is into yoga. She's trying to develop an app uh, where she can train and teach yoga. That also hitting is hitting some roadblocks, and so is his career of writing. Um, so they are a very average Mumbai couple. You know, very relatable when you see them. Uh, enter Tia, that's Ananya Pandey with Zen, uh, that's her boyfriend or fiancé uh, in the film, Siddhan Chaturvedi. They seem to be having a really perfect life. Tia is very well off. She shuttles between LA and Mumbai when she wants. Um, Zen, that's Siddhan's character, is building a township in Alibagh. So he has a great life too. He's hired a yacht for, uh, for one year to impress his clients and that's when all these four characters meet for the first time. Um, talking about uh, you know conflicts that you see in the film, if they uh, Deepika's character and Siddhan's character hit it off right from the word go. Now there can be many questions about infidelity here. Um, should she have replied to him in the night? Should she inform Tia, her own cousin, whose fiance he is? Uh, all that is debatable and for you to you know take this conversation ahead uh, but it's made with um, you know it's made with conviction and that's what i like about this film um, if these problems between these four were not enough uh, enter problems from the previous generation and their parents as well which are very well said well explained and well handled so there's that also uh, that's you know so rajat kapoor and nasruddin shah play very important roles so watch out for their performances as well uh, talking about performances i think dipika padukone puts in all that she has to make this character very convincing uh, she may doing be, she may be doing things that you may think are right or wrong and um, you know one can debate that but Deepika Padukone leaves no stone unturned uh, it's a complicated character to play uh, with a character that will be judged by many but Deepika puts in her A game in this and she's very good in this and so is uh, Siddhant who has to who has many scenes uh, with Deepika and uh, you know they they both play their part well Ananya Pandey you know she fits this role very well it's I would say it's tailor made for her she looks the part and plays the part and uh, also Dharya is has very good screen presence and he has very good dialogues and very good scenes in the film and he pulls it off really well so performance wise you know everybody has done a really good job and all all credit to the director also to get such terrific performances out in such serious and melodramatic scenes the music is really good. We all have enjoyed these songs on our phones and on our music system. Uh, the songs don't just pop in. They've, they're placed very well in the film. I really like all the tracks. Uh, Dube, Gehraiya, Bekabu, they are all very good songs. And they come in very smoothly and they get over very smoothly. They just fit the flow of the film, which I really thought was incredible. What I want to add is that when you're watching movies at home, it it's possible that your experience may not be immersive. Uh, no filmmaker makes a film so that you walk around and talk on the phone and you're on the phone and watching and getting distracted. So here's how I watch movies. I'll tell you, I mostly watch movies in the night so that my phone doesn't ring that much and my doorbell doesn't ring and there are less distractions. Um, also, you know, there's nobody who will come in your way and pass in front of your TV and you watch it also watch it on your biggest your biggest screen possible if you have a big tv 55 65 inches or whatever big tv at home watch it on that as you know if you have an option of watching it on your phone laptop ipad i would say leave all this and watch it on your tv if you are lucky and you have a good surround sound system with 5.1 and 3.1 and 7.1 
use all that for this one you know um, it has really good music and you'll really enjoy it and uh, you know the background score is also really good if you have a uh, dolby audio and you know uh, uh, amazon prime does support dolby vision and dolby audio so turn it on and use it so that you get an immersive experience and you are a part of this story that you're watching in some way it's beautiful it's a very relatable story also you know but depends which character you relate to a uh, very very well made film so oh, kudos to shakun batra for making yet another entertaining film uh, definitely watch it enjoy it and um, do let us know in the comment section what you thought of gehraiya